brief, brief explanation of his excellent piece of legislation. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Member is good to be with you all this evening. During my time in office, science has evolved on what trauma suffered in childhood does to a child's brain, how adverse childhood experiences can impact behavior and health across the lifespan if children do not have supportive and protective families and communities. In the past, when children or adults have engaged in high risk or socially unacceptable behaviors, our reaction was to ask, what's wrong with you? Today, however, we realize the better question is, what happened to you? Childhood trauma, such as the death of a parent, child maltreatment, or living with a caregiver experiencing mental illness or substance use can disrupt the architecture and chemistry of the developing brain. These changes impact the child's biology, behavior, and outcomes in sometimes catastrophic ways. This is well documented by research from the CDC, the American Academy of Pediatrics, Harvard Center for the Developing Child, and many, many more. The urgency of prevention has never been more clear. The good news is that the science has also uncovered powerful, practical, and preventative solutions that can change the trajectory for our families in crisis. Whether we are working to prevent trauma or heal from it, it comes down to building resiliency in our families and ensuring that each child has a supportive, healthy relationship on which they can depend. House Bill 4183 will create a statewide strategic plan to address causes and symptoms of adverse childhood experiences with a three-pronged approach. First, we'll facilitate a public health approach through a cross-systems collaboration that includes child protection, physical and mental health care, early childhood education, juvenile justice, university research centers, and private sector partners. Before we can expect to create strategic and meaningful change, we must better understand the prevalence of patterns of adversity in our communities. Second, we'll instruct these partners to coordinate and evaluate prevention needs and gaps in services and identify best practices in existing services. This collaboration presents the opportunity for agencies to reduce redundancies, increase efficiency, and identify effective strategies that might be implemented within current capacity. And third and last, the resulting five-year strategic plan due to the legislature before next session, will create a blueprint for communities to engage in their own collaborations and combine them with evidence-based strategies to prevent and mitigate the impact of childhood adversity, as well as avoid costly outcomes, including chronic disease, the unthinkable suicide, incarceration, and losses in economic productivity. With at least one in four of our children being exposed to multiple adversities in childhood, and our knowledge of the public health impacts of those adversities and the cost to our state, it's clear we must focus on prevention. Members will be happy to answer any questions. Hi there, I'm Kristen Howell. As I said, I'm the CEO of the Children's Advocacy Center for Denton County. Um, I support this bill. Uh, the Adverse Childhood Experiences Study is the single most influential study of my generation of mental health and social service providers. I bet I train on the ACES study four days a week. This legislation is important so that we begin to talk across silos as professionals and begin to put the pieces together to have the data to understand who these kids are and have the strategic plan that will not be done in five years but will be done four or five years. To have that plan together to, to actually be able to help serve. Protects, protects. We are a research and advocacy organization in the Texas chapter of Prevent Child Abuse America. I'm supporting, I'm testifying in support of the bill. There are many evidence-based strategies that can ensure that adversity does not dictate the future of our children. Working with children and their families as early as the prenatal period to increase resilience, safety, and strengthen healthy and protective relationships can mitigate the effects of adverse childhood experiences. HB 4183 will accelerate our ability as a state to prevent the kinds of adverse circumstances that are capable of derailing healthy development, as well as increase the likelihood that effective interventions are accessible 